hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix camera missing in device manager on windows 10 or windows 11. so if your camera is missing from device manager or you're not able to access camera or it's not working properly then apply the list of solutions that i'm going to share in this video and i'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed the very first thing that i would recommend you that please check that windows access has been enabled for camera so what you will have to do, you need to make a right click on your Windows icon, then click on settings. Now here you have to look for privacy. And then from the left hand menu option where it says app permission, you have to look for camera. Click on camera and make sure this allow app to access your camera is enabled. And even you can look for other application. So let's say if you're using the camera for Skype, so make sure this camera toggle has been enabled. Right. Similarly, if you're using any other application, so make sure that it's been enabled for that application. Okay. And also make sure allow desktop apps to access your camera has been turned on. All right. So once you are done with this, you have to close it. Next, you have to click on your Windows search again, type camera. You will be getting camera in the suggestion, right click on it and then click on app settings. Now, once you come to app setting, you need to scroll down. You will find the option of reset. You have to click on it, then click on reset again and wait until the reset has been completed. Once done, you have to close this box. Now you have to look for the Windows icon, right click on it, and from the list, you have to click on Device Manager. The Device Manager will be up. Now here from the top end menu option, you have to click on Action, then click on Scan for hardware changes. Once done, again look back if you get the camera driver over here, and if not, then what you will have to do, Click on action again, then click on add legacy hardware, then click on next, then choose the second option, install the hardware that I manually select from a list, then click on next. Now here you have to select cameras, then click on next. Now in case if you get any model here, then you have to select that model. So make sure that your camera has been connected to your device, All right? Then you have to click on next and the camera will be installed and it will be displayed on the device manager. But still, if it doesn't show up, then you have to go ahead and restart your PC or laptop. And after that, when you will check back again, you will get your camera in the device manager. Now, in case if this doesn't work, again, you have to click on action, then click on add legacy hardware, click next, again, choose the second option, then click on next. Now here you have to look for imaging devices, okay? So select it then click on next now here you have to look for the manufacturer of which you are using the camera uh, so you have to select that option then from the right hand side you have to select the model okay but still if you don't see all kind of model here then you have to click on microsoft then click on SCSI scanner device then click on next next and finish and after that again you have to click on action then click on scan for hardware changes and now check back again if the camera is back on your device manager or not. All right, now in case if this all doesn't work for you, then you have to close it. Click on your Windows search, type troubleshoot. Then click on troubleshoot settings. Click on additional troubleshooter. And then you have to look for the camera over here. If you get the camera, you have to click on it and then choose run the troubleshooter. In case if you do not find the camera here, then you have to look for video playback. Then click run the troubleshooter. And then you have to choose the setting from here and then click on next again and after that see if the problem has been fixed now in case if this also doesn't work next what you will have to do you need to open any of your favorite browser and let's say that if you're using the hp camera okay or logitech camera so you have to type logitech camera driver download and choose your operating system like windows 10 or 11 and then hit enter now the manufacturer website will be coming up. You have to open it. And then you need to download the driver manually from here. So I just took an example for the Logitech. It can be your HP. It can be Lenovo. If you're using your laptop, it can be by default from HP or Lenovo or Acer. In case if you're using any external uh, camera from Logitech or any other manufacturer, then you have to download that uh, software manually from the Google and download it. Once downloaded, you have to install it, run it, then again, restart your PC. And once restarted, again, you have to make a right click on your Windows icon. Then you have to go with device manager. Now here, click on any of the driver. 
then click on view and click show hidden devices okay once it's been done again you have to click on action then click on scan for hardware change now after applying all these solution again when you will check back i'm very sure that your camera driver will be surely back now only two things that are very important that you need to keep in your mind that your camera should be connected to your device if you're using any kind of external camera device and second if none of the method work for you then make sure that you download and install the camera driver manually as i suggested you from google to so manually download and install it restart your pc and after that you will check i'm very positive that your problem will be fixed so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye